Hey folks, in this video I'm taking new model HANA island hopping for a day of portraits in the sun using a three lens portrait kit including the new 180 to 600 mil. This is gonna be fun. Hi folks, today it's my pleasure to bring you along on a portrait shoot. I had a half day shoot planned with a new model HANA to go island hopping and we're taking along some flowers and just basically hiking and finding what we find to shoot and it should be really fun. Now I'm taking along a little bit of an unusual portrait kit for this one. So I have the 105 1.4 f mount lens via adapter, the 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens z mount, fantastic lens, the Nikon Z8, you know all about the camera, and then the unlikely part, the 180 to 600 lens. And this could seem like a strange mix. Why have 24 through to 600 mil? I'll tell you, partly it's, I was going to take along a shorter zoom lens, but then I want to test this out. You guys seemed really interested when I did the test shooting with some kingfishers and birds, that kind of thing. But this has, for such a long lens, quite a good maximum magnification. So it'll do 0.25 reproduction. So one, one to one is macro. So this will do 0.25. So that means something that's four times the size of this sensor, it can get all in one shot. If you compare that to say my portrait lens, the 105, it's something like 0.17. So this will reproduce significantly larger and despite being a variable aperture, I will expect that we're going to get a fairly pleasing background blur. This will also give me much more variety in the kind of images I can create. Shooting portraits up close with 24 mil or stepping back to 50 or 70 or going further back to 105 and really blurring out the background all give a different kind of feeling. Their intimacy with the subject, their relationship of them to their background at 24, you need to be really close, but then the background, you're going to have a lot of it. If I go all the way back and then shoot at 600 mil, what could have been just like one light pole in the distance could totally fill up the background and give us a completely different atmosphere. So I'm looking forward to see what this can add to the day and what kind of different images I can create in the end. It is still summer here, typhoon season, so this is as much as I'm going to carry as well as a GoPro and my phone. And I'll make sure that you get some sample files that you can download over at my website, raw files from the Z8. Whilst you're over there, you can check out my Nikon Z setup guide. It takes you through every camera in the system, including the new Z8 and ZF, shows you the initial customizations you might wanna make out of the box, as well as a complete deep dive showing you every single menu option and every single physical control on each of the cameras in the system. Link for that is in the description below. Now arriving to Cheung Chow via ferry, it's always lovely, you get about a half hour to chill on the fast ferry on your way over. Let me just show you a little bit around of what I love about this island. Beautiful nature, quaint little shops, it's like a time capsule, there's basically no cars on the island. And lots of shops have pet cats, this one even had a pet pigeon as well, seems like the two of them get along fairly well. Overall, just a lovely, lovely place to shoot. Now, it was incredibly hot on the day. I think I sweat like two to three liters. Um, so fortunately, I was only filming with my GoPro and phone and a little bit through the lens on the Z8. But I met up with Hana and we found our first place to shoot and it was gonna be a, kind of a, just an exploration day. Okay, so we've got our first shot set up. We've got this beautiful leaf that we cut earlier and then this beautiful yellow flower and we've already talked through the variations we're going to do here. I'm going to use the 24 to 70 for a couple of our new shots and then switch to the 180 to 600 for some close-ups on her face with this really cool leaf. So having the option to go right in the 600 does give some crazy interesting composition. So here is footage from the Z8. 
Uh, you can see every bug and drop of sweat, but we can also use that to grab some great detail shots in the portraits. Loads of beautiful nature around, all kinds of options for us to shoot with. Here's a nice example. I spotted this arch in the walkway that had a nice pool of light. I sent her up there and then taking a look at how our frame differs when we're at like 180 mil or going all the way out to 600 mil. This is slow motion video actually. Then taking a look at the still, you can get some really dramatic isolations. Only managed to get one bird on my day, so here he is. And one of the highlights was just finding this little nook, a beautiful lookout. So we just sat here to recuperate for 15 minutes and I spotted the rocks down there, just tried to get some slow shutter speed stuff to see what we could do, compressing the frame with a long lens, but then mixing in the slow shutter. I continued that theme when we got down to the beach and this is what we had time the day for to get there around sunset. We started off doing some in swimwear and then also some art nude using a big leaf that we had found. And it all came together really nicely. Again, this was a mix of the 105 and the 180 to 600 and using a long shutter speed to try and get her sharp, but then the water moving. So look, I was really surprised with how that all came together. The 180 to 600 worked flawlessly. I have to say it, it's pretty big, but it's really, I think a reasonable weight. I was carrying this either in the backpack or just on my Black Rapid with the Z8 all day. And it was like high 90s temperature and hugely humid. I was like sweating like a broken tap, but it wasn't too much to carry around. Um, Overall, I did like the extra variety. I think I ended up taking about a third each on the 24 to 70, 105 and this lens. Um, and for being able to really compress down a shot like these ones, showing her in a little pool of light at the end of a curving walkway, being able to go super long does get you a perspective that you just can't get with anything else. And by simplifying the background, it makes up kind of for not having quite as shallow a depth of field as you have on the fast aperture lenses. You can download sample files for yourself to check out. I'll pop a link below over to learn.macranger.com where I'll have a zip file of free files that you can download. Cheers, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon.